All right, going to show you that Roman Catholics do in fact worship the Egyptian goddess known as Isis. No, I'm not referring to the uh, Jesuit CIA Islamic terrorist group known as Isis, or the Islamic State, or Daesh, or whatever they want to call them. Uh, the CIA funded Jesuit, you know, front terrorist group, uh, a terrorist arm of the Jesuits, I'll put it that way. I'm referring to the pre-Islamic Egyptian deity known as Isis. She's a goddess. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of the Roman Catholic, you know, Virgin Mary, the goddess they have called the Virgin Mary. And they could deny, oh, we don't worship her, we just venerate her. Um, the way they treat her, you know, burning incense, bowing down before statues of her, it is worship, okay? We're gonna show you some pictures of some of these Mary statues and just then show you some pictures of the Isis statues and show some very shocking similarities. So first of all, here's a picture of a Mary statue in uh, uh, New Mexico. And yeah, to totally not idolatry. I mean, you know, definitely not idolatry right there. On like a big altar like that, you know, it's, it's yeah. We're definitely, they're definitely not idolaters. We'll put it that way, but, uh, so you got the Mary statue right there. And of course she's holding a Catholic rosary, which is heathen in nature. You can see uh, uh, Matthew chapter six, verse seven on that. Pray not in vain repetitions. Another good picture showing that, yes, they are idolaters to Mary, is a shrine in uh, Poland of this Mary statue. And again, oh, we're not idolaters. Uh, this is idolatry. Just plain and simple, it's idolatry. This um, shrine with the, with the statue in it, you know. Oh, go, go to India with the Hindus. They do the exact same thing. But now, compare this with the statue of the Egyptian goddess, Isis, and this, this is a uh, Roman statue, because uh, the Romans, the Greco-Roman heathens, which is what Roman Catholicism is based off, by the way, Greco-Roman religion, they adopted uh, Isis as one of their gods, goddesses, uh, when they took over Egypt, and, and kind of notice how she looks almost somewhat similar to the Virgin Mary statue, and that's the Roman depiction of her. Now this is the Egyptian rendering of the Isis statue and, and notice something very interesting notice that she's holding a baby very very interesting because Mary pictures have the exact same image of Mary holding a baby and of course the baby she's holding is the Egyptian god Horus now some more interesting photos um, is the what the Catholics call the holy the holy family the statues of the holy family uh, here's a picture of one of them uh, and again, t totally not idolatry, you know, I mean, this is exactly what pagans, you know, heathens will do. You got Mary, you got Joseph, and you got this, uh, it, this person they call Jesus Christ, which is not Jesus Christ at all. Uh, Acts 17, 29 forbids making images of the Godhead. So, you know, it, it's not scriptural at all. And plus, Jesus Christ is not a baby anymore. He's a, he's God. And he's an adult too, by the way. Even back in the Gospels, he was an adult. Uh, so, so, so quit making him out to be a baby. But notice these, these sun images on top of them. The heathen Babylonian origins of those things is pretty significant. Uh, another good picture of the Catholic Holy Family is, again, this shrine depicting these two uh, Catholic gods and goddesses holding the baby. Again, it's kind of interesting because you got Mary holding the baby, just like the Isis statue holding her baby Horus. Next picture, again, you got the whole, the Catholic ho Holy Family, and then you got this, this deity up here, which I don't know what that's supposed to represent, I guess, with the triangle on top, but then you got Mary, Joseph, and this baby they call Jesus Christ. Uh, again, this is totally not idolatry, you know, yeah, definitely not. Uh, like, in Le like in Leviticus 26, verse 1, condemns, and another picture, you got... Uh, them in this shrine, you know, you're making a shrine to these these images, but you're not idolaters. Yeah, sure And then you got Mary Joseph and, and Jesus Christ obviously now Notice the similarities between the first picture and this picture here the Egyptian quote-unquote holy family the Egyptian Holy family watch this Look at this picture right here you got Isis holding the baby and Osiris right there it's the exact same as the Catholic Holy Family. You got Mary holding the baby, and you got Joseph over there, on on the beside her. 
very, very interesting how it's very shockingly similar. Why? Because Roman Catholicism is just repackaged Egyptian, Babylonian, and Greco-Roman heathenism. That's all it is. Roman Catholicism is not Christianity at all. Roman Catholicism is a pagan uh, heathen system that is condemned in Revelation chapter 17 and Revelation chapter 18 and Revelation chapter 19 shows the destruction of Mystery Babylon, which is sorry, I had to, had to I was going to burp there, but thankfully didn't, which is the Roman Catholic Church. So uh, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is just pagan, Greco-Roman, Isis, you know, which they now call Marian, you know, veneration. That's all it is. The goddess of Roman Catholicism, Mary, is just simply Isis repackaged. You know, you can call her Diana of the Ephesians in Acts chapter 19. You can call her the Queen of Heaven in Jeremiah 44. She has a, a bunch of different names. So yeah, Roman Catholicism is pagan, Roman Catholicism is heathen, Roman Catholicism is satanic, and Roman Catholics are not Christians. Roman Catholics are Greco-Roman, Egyptian, Babylonian, heathens. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.